So now what we do is you can see here the homeowners choose to mess around with his driveway. So what he's going to do here is he's added an enhancement to the front driveway condition. Now you, you'll notice here that when we were establishing the base conditions, these other enhancements were grayed out. Once you've established and saved your baseline condition, you're now able to play around with and add these enhancements. So you see here, they've added an enhancement of new pervious pavers to replace their driveway. So again, the pervious paver enhancement comes up with the same kind of submenu. You would name it, delineate it, describe some of the parameters, right? What kind of under, lay, under base layer are you going to have under it? Are you going to allow some storage under it by adding a thicker base layer or not, or things like that? So we would envision you being able to change those. And then when you hit the Save button, you add it. And you see how now, see how the dial has changed in terms of the influence of our driveway? So we're seeing the individual change but we're also seeing the cumulative change in terms of how the overall property is moving closer towards our target here. So we see this whole thing as being very dynamic and allowing an owner to kind of play with and save a whole bunch of different scenarios and actually make some decisions about how I might want to change and add things, right? He, he can see here with the main house, he's added a green roof and he's added a rain burrow. So you see now he's, meet, he's moved the house dial over into the green. Hasn't done much with his lawn, but he's added some enhancements to his driveway. So the way we envision this express tool working is that not only is a landowner going to be able to see the hydrological changes as they make different decisions about the property, but we also see some links that come out of the back end of this tool to provide actual information on a more value-added basis that would give an owner some information on how to decide between making my driveway pervious pavers versus installing a roof water collection system. So the way we see this linking would be cost-benefit analysis to roof water harvesting <coughs> systems. What are the maintenance uh, items associated with that kind of enhancement? What are maintenance items associated with pervious driveways? What are the average kinds of cost scenarios on a per cubic meter type of basis? Those are the kinds of things and information we want to see come out of this express version to really inform a land, use, uh, a land user or a homeowner how to make a decision. Do I want to plant a bunch of trees? Do I want to change my driveway? Or do I want to do a lower scale version of all of the above, right? So each scenario you create, you'll be able to save and then compare as you keep uh, iterating through the tool.